everybody, good morning. It's my host of the Mobile Home Show and owner of iMobileHome.net. This Wednesday, we finally are able to webcast today after experiencing tef te <laughs> technical difficulties uh, yesterday and personal difficulties on Monday. You might have saw my two-minute webcast where uh, I got on there and I was basically uncomfortable for about two and a half minutes and got off of there. Uh, that is what happens when you broadcast from home, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> you, might, you may run into a altercation with your better half, and then it becomes difficult to webcast because there's tension. So that was obvious uh, in the last one. My apologies for that. I actually thought it was kind of funny, so I left it up there. Not much in terms of content there, <laughs> but... <laughs> It's real. <laughs> it's definitely real. Um, speaking of real, uh, anybody out there who stumbles upon the live webcast, feel free to go ahead and call the phone number here. You can see it. Oh, somebody's there. Hey, baby. We only saw your torso. Uh, we didn't see your head. We only saw your body yeah, walk by. We got the body. We got to walk by. Here's my audience. We have a live studio audience today of headless people. There's my headless brother-in-law. Before, before, before that, we before that we saw the head, my headless wife. So, I've been decapitating people this morning. Oh, there's my other headless brother-in-law. I got two headless brothers-in-laws and one headless wife. Anyway, like I said before, this is part of the pitfalls of webcasting live. Uh, you may have some uh, <laughs> some interference, but uh, what I'm really hoping is that maybe Justin Bieber will come walking by. Headless Justin Bieber lives here, in case in case nobody knows. <laughs> no, you didn't know that it, that uh, was true, huh, babe? Um, let's see. Man, so much happened this week, and I wasn't able to get to it uh, because I missed both Monday and Tuesday, basically. But I want to throw out there, uh, like I have been on the blogs and um, the social media, to uh, please help the people in Japan. We know that they're devastated over there, and they can use our support. So um, uh, the charity, well, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a charity. I would say the American Red Cross is the people to support. There's no doubt about it. Those guys take care of business. Um, uh, proven leaders when this type of thing occurs so even if you could just send them 10 bucks I think the text is uh, you can actually text it 90999 donate 10 bucks automatically to the Red Cross or uh, go to the website redcross.org I ate your donut I brought you a glazed donut and you ate it well it's up hey whoa 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 this is the family show <laughs> no, hey, no dropping the F word on the mobile home show. Mom, Only I can do that, and I'm not, I cannot do I'm that. Sorry, I not <laughs> <laughs> uh, Should I try to speak Spanish or English? No. no English. All right, we'll we'll do that. I'm not prepared to ask uh, a yeah, question. You have to. What am I going to ask him? What? How do you like? Let's, do you like living you in Mexico or do you like living in a mobile home better? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I digress here. People are probably like getting bored yeah. stiff. Um, where was I? What was I talking about? You know, this well, the tsunami. Obviously, donate to the Red Cross, please, if you if you can spare a few bucks. Um, one of the one of the good things to come of the tsunami is is that now the focus is off of Charlie Sheen. Even I have been getting swept up in the Charlie Sheen drama. Um, I guess after something like this happens, it it, it puts things into better perspective again. Uh, certainly for me, uh, it makes me stop and think about how small my pro I mean, I think I have some big problems and some big issues, and I'm worried about this and that and the other. Uh, was my headless wife? Oh, you have a head that time. You're too close. Um, but you know things like uh, my headless family. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love them, and and I uh, have my health, and 
uh, trying to to work on a career and manufactured housing. They saw your whole body at that time. And uh, so it, it really, when you see that kind of devastation, it really kind of, it really made me snap and realize what's important, how, how truly blessed that I am with a nice wife who walks back and forth across my webcast, children who play Xbox until the wee hours of the night on spring break and then wake up at about noon. This 9.30, none of them are awake, are they? Huh? No. Nope. No ninos are awake. But that's okay. It's spring break, so they're allowed to do that. I want to go see the movie uh, either uh, Battle L.A. Uh, yeah. or Paul. Everybody. Or maybe we'll see both of them. But we yeah. get, got my brothers-in-laws in town. and Actually, the there's, a son, there's a Suns game tonight. So. Oh, great. We should take into that part that uh, you are afraid it's going to get you in trouble. You will not. I promise I will not get you in trouble with those that have great naked girls. What my wife is talking about is a bar called the Tilted Kilt, and she wrangled me into going there last week, and I did. I was trying to protest because I, even without, have I was never there before, by the way, but I did see an advertisement. Remember I explained to you how I knew that the girls wore the short, anyway, they wear the short skirts, like, plaid like a schoolgirl plaid skirts you know it's an, it's an irish bar with the long socks but then they got the shirts with the the half shirts and then their yeah. chichis are hanging out can i say chi i can say i could say that on the internet <laughs> well anyway there is a sun's game so maybe we can do that yeah oh, that might be fun so who do the suns play i think that they play the orlando magic tonight let's take a quick look about that Whoop. We're in Phoenix, so that's why we support the Phoenix Suns. And no, they play they don't play Orlando Magic. They play New Orleans Hornets at five o'clock. Wow, that's great. Right at the happy hour. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I already got you trained about happy hour. People are gonna think I'm a lush. Um Anyway, that sounds pretty good. I think I think that can be done. So we'll look we'll look forward to that today, and I want to see those movies. Um, oh, you know, I gotta say I don't know. You know, I, I'm on the fence a little bit about this thing where uh, people were tweeting about the the devastation in Japan, and they're getting in trouble, and people are condemning them. Gilbert Gottfried got fired. Oh, as the Aflac duck, which by the way. <clears throat> I want to do my Aflac uh, audition right now. Okay, so Aflac, if you're watching, here we go. <clears throat> Aflac! That was pretty good. Baby! Oh. Yeah. Did you hear my Aflac duck? Yeah, I did. Why, why did he laugh? Because that guy got fired. Do you want to try to do an audition to be the Aflac duck? No. Let me hear you do it. No, Aflac. I won't do it. All right, well, that's... Anyway, I think, uh, well, I lost myself. Aflac should hire me. But it's, you know, uh, I, I have to say that people should be cognizant of what's going on and not just say anything. But this was actually a pretty funny joke. One of the tweets that Gilbert said was they don't, this isn't the whole thing either. They're taking it out of context. I'm not going to repeat it then. But anyway, Gilbert Gottfried lost his Aflac job. Some guy is a writer for Family Guy. And they're just, you know what, these are these are taking them out of context, so I don't want to say the whole thing. I, I don't have the I don't have the whole tweet, so I don't want to misrepresent. Uh, rapper 50 Cent, <laughs> he might, he said something. Oh, hey, do you want to hear what 50? I I I don't even care about 50 Cent, so I'm gonna. He he got in trouble for tweeting about the the thing too, about the tsunami. He said, this is funny. What? You can't say that on the webcast. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you know what? I'm not going to. I, I want to get the whole tweet. I'm not even going to misrepresent 50 Cent. Okay. Because if I, it doesn't, I'm looking at USA Today. It doesn't say, it doesn't say the whole tweet. Um, anyway, 
You may have noticed we're in a format that's not necessarily having to do with manufactured homes, but believe me, I always try to tie it in. Uh, let's take a quick look to see if we're up and running on any level. We're still we're down on iMobileHome.net, but we should be transferring over to ManufacturedHomeMart.com. We're not up there either yet. The websites are down, babe. Both of them. But we'll be back. We'll be back up and running. I think he's doing the Constantine's doing the changeover. But that's not good because right now we are offline. And um, let's quickly talk about our sponsor. For the last day, it looks like iMobileHome.net. You can still go to that website and it'll it'll kick over to the other domain. But I think today is our last day as iMobileHome.net. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll now be known as ManufacturedHomeMart.com as soon as we can get up and running, which I was hoping that it's going to be like now. Uh, but it's not. Call-in number is still there if anybody wants to call into the live show. Not going to drag this thing on much longer. We're 11 minutes in. Now, last time that I did a real webcast was Friday when it was the tsunami. And if you notice, I was able to actually tie in manufactured homes into that because it was a natural disaster. No. I ate your donut. <laughs> so <laughs> I was talking about um, uh, how... Uh, Manufactured homes, well-built manufactured homes, can withstand natural disasters like the type that we have here in the United States, uh, particularly hurricanes and tornadoes. And I and I, I love. I was talking about that Palm Harbor, and they used it in their advertising uh, with the, with the home that was completely devastated. Uh, There's homes all around devastated, and then there was one Palm Harbor home. Great advertising, great great media stuff. Uh, of course, we don't like to have natural disasters, but that was good. That was good promo. I got to give kudos to Palm Harbor. Now, this week I was going to talk a little bit about um, there's 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 some dissension, and people are getting uptight uh, in our industry on a national level. I can't really talk about this as intelligently as I want, uh, but basically we got MHARR and MHI. Uh, these are two big uh, trade organizations on a national level. Don't always agree, and um, everybody's kind of upset with HUD uh, because they sometimes make life difficult for us. Now, we know in our industry, it's an industry dominated by the manufacturers, um, and to, I, I don't, I, I don't know that you, that can really be avoided. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure that that's really a bad thing. It could be. Uh, again, I'm not really sure that I can speak intelligently enough about it. But uh, I, I know that because I come from the side of sales that a lot of retailers out there particularly uh, feel left out of the program. And I do want to say one thing uh, that I can talk intelligently about, and, and that is the fact that really... You know, manufacturers, it's, it's fine. You want to lead the way and run the show. Do so responsibly, but also I think it's very important that you start to step up and support your independent retailers. This is the way that you can sell homes. Um, we, the, just more training, more involvement with your independent retailers uh, so that we can market the product in the best way possible. We need to present a new face uh, of manufactured housing to the people. This, is, we just, this has gone on long enough. It's 2011. <laughs> it's 2011, people. And so uh, we, need to we need to change the image right now and get people on board with manufactured housing. What? Oh, anyway, uh, that's my rah-rah speech for today. I hope that MHARR, uh, Manufactured Housing Association for Regulatory Reform, that's what that is, and MHI, our National uh, Association 
um, uh, I hope that uh, they can work together, work with HUD, work with the big manufacturers. Uh, I think everybody needs to play ball. I know there's some big problems going on there, and everybody doesn't agree, uh, and probably not. Uh, it, it's it's not going going to happen. Excuse me. Uh, everybody's not going to agree, but uh, let's all take some deep breaths and realize that we're all in the same game to together, and. Uh, and uh, we'll get things going uh, for our industry, which we really, really need to do and step up and uh, promote ourselves. Uh, I'm going to let everybody go. Let's see. I'm going to do some promoting for free for the Great Southwest Home Show, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go to mhao.org for information about that show. And go to... <laughs> go to uh, that's the biggest indoor manufactured home show on earth, by the way. The Great Southwest Home Show. Also, uh, the National Congress and Expo, the MHI Conference in Vegas. Uh, go to congressandexpo.org uh, for information about that. Also, I want to do a couple of plugs. I want to plug, uh, I want to plug my dad's company, Black Hawk Homes. Stop being nasty over there. We're going to... Was that a dog? Out there. <laughs> this, this, you know, this really has been the morning zoo this morning. I, I'm not. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear that. <laughs> we got a dog bark. We got a little bit of everything today. We got people walking in the background with boxes and clothes and. Oh God. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was trying to plug my dad's business. Oh yeah, uh, for manufactured homes in Arizona. I'll plug my dad's. Dealership, Black Hawk Homes, uh, new manufactured homes uh, by Cavco and Champion and Redmond, and also used manufactured and mobile homes for sale as well. All the information about Black Hawk Homes is available on the web, of course, at blackhawkhomes.net. Uh, there you go. Go, Dad. Sell lots of homes. I want to do one more. I think I'm going to do one more plug for my buddy John Thaliker because he's like the only fan of the Mobile Home Show. And someday, when we're big and huge, uh, we're gonna we're gonna thank John because he's the original he's the original Mobile Home Show fan. His website he has he has several, but manufactured home related. He has manufacturedhomes.com. If you're into RVing and motorhomes, he also runs. Excuse me. He has an excellent website called motorhomes.com. Uh, so uh, shout out and plugs all around. Also, I'm a big fan of uh, uh, the news on mhmsm.com. I want to give uh, Tony Kovach and his uh, group a plug as well. They do a very good job of reporting the news about the manufactured housing industry. And, of course, if you want to buy a home, uh, excuse me, if you want to buy a manufactured home or rent one, uh, or sell, or if you're an industry professional, we want you to use manufacturedhomemart.com. Thanks again. Have a great week. We'll be right back here tomorrow on Ustream. Have a great day, everybody.